This is the stab mark on the right side of his vest where it went through and and uh, cut the vest there. But that absorbed the uh, stab so that Loki didn't get any injuries. He was issued a vest from uh, Spike's Canine Fund. A professional athlete, Ashley Horner, donated that vest to him. Uh, and it is also stab proof and bullet resistant and he wears it daily on patrol. And that's what took the brunt of the garden shear so that he didn't get hurt. Usually you lift it up to make sure that his leg is in and everything's fit, nice and fit. That way if we're after someone and we get to a fence and I have to put him over, we can do the dog carry. And then he's on his way again. To be a canine, it's a bond like no other. He's with me during the day, he's with me at night, he's with me 24-7. Uh, my job is to take care of him, and his job is to take care and protect me. We actually had trained that exact scenario 48 hours before the actual incident happened in canine training. So we trained twice a month on high-paced scenarios, and then 48 hours later, it became real life. He fared out of this incident because he survived. Um, a lot of dogs um, do not have the luxury of having a vest. Um, that's why Spike's Canine Fund and Canine Storm are working to get funds to donate these vests to a lot of the, uh, the canines. And we're very fortunate to be able to, to have one for all of our dogs in the canine unit.